go now fellas, here we go, we've got a new Apple, Australian invention, same guy invented the uh, Pink Lady, so that's what you get in the shop, it's called a Gala, no it's not called a Gala, oh no, forgot the name of it, Bravo, there you go, Bravo, but that's what you're getting, wax, wax city. So I'll scrape the wax off and that's a real apple. That's a Bravo, Australian invention. Let's have a crack on that. Let's show you what it is and I'll tell you about it a little bit. The guy just recently passed away that invented this apple. Invented it. Crossbred it, made it possible. It's a big hit in Asia at the moment. So what the go is, that will sit for like hours and won't go brown. That's what's so amazing. But the other amazing thing, the taste. Let's taste this. Oh, yum. Indonesia, they can't get enough of them. Other countries in Asia, they just are all going silly on it. Why well, wouldn't you do this? a nice apple. Mmm, wow. Because I scraped the um, wax off that bit, I'm going to eat the skin now. Trace take on the Bravo. Cracker. I've spent 16 years in one house, living in one turn of south, Studfield. And over our back fence for about 10 years was an apple orchard. There are different types of apples and pears. A few experimental trees here and there, but was mostly sort of one or two sorts, but wow, this is a good apple. Gala, gala. I keep saying that. What's going on there? The Bravo Galas. No, they're the Bravos. Get into them. Bravo apples. Look at that. That's with the wax on. They look pretty mighty. I reckon. Yeah. They'll go off, get your shares, buy shares in Bravo Apple companies. They're going to make a fortune. Cheers, guys. See ya.